Welcome back, my friends. I would like to think that we all have a story, right? But most of us tend to keep our true personal stories to ourselves, or maybe you just share it with a few people that are closest to you. But St. Louis native Goldie Taylor knew that her story needed to be told. So she took pen to paper and wrote her very own memoir. It's called The Love You Save. I think she landed at Lambert at like 1230 this morning and somehow here she is looking glorious <laughs> on the great day set. We are thrilled to have Goldie Taylor with us this morning to tell us more about her book. How are you? I am great and I'm so glad to be here and so glad to be home in St. Louis. We were just talking about it. even cruising around the, the airport area. You're looking at things and thinking, well, there's where mom used to work and we yeah. used to live just a couple blocks that way. Why? To say that you didn't have a picture perfect childhood, sure. and none of us do, but that yeah, would be an understatement. I mean, you went through some struggles and some real hardships. Why are you so passionate about sharing that story? You know, I spent a career on national television, at NBC News. I was at uh, CNN for a long time. Mm -hmm. But I was speaking to issues, and I wanted people to know what informed those issues for me. And so I needed to go back to East St. Louis where I went to middle school. I had to go back to St. Anne where I went to elementary school and talk about the divides that I saw coming up and how our family fought to sort of straddle those divides wow. and how it created you know, a person like me who's really passionate about rebuilding communities and making sure that social structures are there to meet children where they are. I think that's, to me, one of the most important pieces of your story is that you don't begrudge your childhood because you understand that it sort of forged you into into the person that you are today, right? Oh, absolutely. I think resilience is a heck of a thing. Yeah. Um, but they say that, that that doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Mm -hmm. right. you know, I actually think that's bunk. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to give it all back in some ways. Um, I'd like to give it all back in some ways, but I am just glad to call St. Louis home. Yeah. I think it's rich history, it's tapestry here, generations of folk coming to growth in the Midwest. I wouldn't trade that for the world. So what brings you back to St. Louis? Why are you in town? So I've got a book signing and discussion tonight yeah. at the Ethical Society in Clayton. So I'm super excited to know that Left Bank Books has brought me to town uh, to meet friends. I'm going to be with tonight my ninth grade honors English teacher on stage wow. to talk about learning to write, to talk about learning to be a public speaker for the first time. If I'm to credit anybody for the fantastic yeah. career I've had, it's Peggy Lewis LeCompte, and so I'm glad to see her tonight. Ken, you know, just 10 minutes ago, Kent and I were talking about the impact that adults you encounter in your high school years can really have on you, and how proud that, that teacher must be of you, right? Have you guys kept in touch through the years? We've kept in touch. Wow. You know, I lived for, in eighth and ninth grade, I lived for her approval. If I could make her happy, that meant I had done an excellent thing. And so to share the stage with her tonight, you know, it really is gratifying. Before we let you go, just give me a, a sentence or two about what you hope people would glean from your book, what they might personally be able to get out of it. What I think I want people to know is that Goldie Taylor isn't special, that I am not some remarkable thing that there are other children who are living in the margins, mm -hmm. who are brilliant and remarkable, who just need a grown up, you know, or two, or a special teacher. You just never know whose life you're going to touch and how that's going to impact the rest of the world. Wow. And so I'm, I'm for extraordinary impact. Well, wow. thank yeah. you for sharing your story, warts and all, believe me. It's, it's a really interesting look at, at your childhood and your upbringing and how you became the person you are. Great to meet you, you, too. Thank you for coming thank you. out. You can meet, by the way, Goldie Taylor for yourself tonight at 7 at the Ethical Society of St. Louis. It's going to be a great night. Visit left-bank.com for more information. All right. We're also going to post this segment on our website, camelv.com slash great day, right after the show. Oh, I'm looking forward to reading that.